In the past couple of years, I've really been reconsidering what my personal priorities are versus what society tells me they should be. And that's why I was very excited when I ran across a book called Bullshit Jobs by David Graeber. Now, you can maybe guess what it's all about, but allow me to read you the back summary. Millions of people have bullshit jobs, a form of paid employment, as David Graeber puts it, that is so completely pointless, unnecessary, that even the employee cannot justify its existence. Even though as part of uh, the working condition of the employment, the employee feels obliged to pretend that that is not the case. End of quote. These, uh, take these characters as representatives. An unqualified IT consultant who, despite his best efforts to get fired, continues to get promoted. An employee who has 25 middle managers as his direct supervisors, none of whom respond to his requests. And a government worker in charge of a city's water treatment plan, plant who decided his time was better spent at home studying his favorite 17th century writer. He collected... Uh, salary for six years before anybody noticed. While such jobs as nurses, mechanics, and garbage collectors provide true value, society tends to look down upon them while revering and handsomely compensating marketing consultants, tax shelter attorneys, and um, political pollsters. Using arguments from political thinkers, philosophers, and scientists, uh, David articulates the societal and political consequences of these jobs and suggests a kind of blueprint for shifting our values to esteem creative and caring work. So that's a lot there, right? And that's uh, what the book is about. It addresses a lot of the central issues. And just by that sort of last paragraph about nurses and garbage collectors and so forth, yeah, it's kind of evident that we don't that, – that what we view as essential workers – um, has shifted because of the pandemic, and yet we don't con value them in any particular way uh, more than you know what what we sh actually should. And so it's a fascinating look, and not only does it criticize, but offers solutions, and I think that's important. Um, you know, because one of the interesting uh, kind of jumping off points was uh, I believe it was the 1930s, uh, the notion that with automation and technology. Humans would only have to work 15 hours a week, uh, you know, because of all the advancements. And yet, obviously, that is not the case. Um, and so, you know, this re-examines how we should look at our culture and the working environment. And uh, whether you agree with it or not, it's, it's a short read and worth examining.